So you just finished recording a uh, new game. Uh, you're excited about it. You wanted to do a live first impression for your YouTube channel. And it turns out the audio is completely scuffed. You play in a headset, you control your headset volume, and your in-game volume was way too high. So how do you fix it? And then how do you prevent that from happening again? I'm going to show you how to do those two things in this video. Uh, the tools I'll be using in this video are Audacity, the Audacity FF MPEG uh, library, uh, the VSDC video editor, and OBS. All of these tools are available down in the description. And just like in my last video where I showed you how to mute open mics, uh, all these tools are available for free. So let's get started. Uh, first, we're going to start off with the first scenario of just handling that, um, handling that audio that you recorded. So we're going to start off here with Audacity. This is from my Splitgate video that I did before. Links to these past videos are going to be right above you on this side with the cards. Uh, so you can go back and check out how those videos uh, are after the fact too. Uh, so in this here, you can see here. Let's see if can we make this a little bigger. No, it's just as big as it goes. Uh, so this part here, this is me talking. And see these all these spikes up here. This is from the from the game. Um, the audio is way too loud. These are all gunshots going completely over my voice, and it was absolutely horrible. Uh, now I can't, I couldn't separate it from here at this point. It's you know, it's just a single audio file. Now to get this in here, uh, this is why you need the FFmpeg. You go into File, you're going into Import, and you're going to input audio, and you're going to select that uh, video file that you recorded in, in OBS. Um, I record to MP4. Um, and Audacity will allow you to import the audio file. So, now I should have said that in the beginning of that, but now you know how, how you get it in here. It's the import feature that comes with the FFmpeg. So now what we're going to do to fix these audio spikes is I'm going to Control A to select all of this. I'm going to go into Effects, and we go, we're going to go to our compressor here. Now you can play with different settings here see how things sound and look. I just use the default settings for this. So what I did here, so you make sure you have compressed based on peaks. So I did it once. Now it's going to take a few seconds to do. And I'm actually going to run it a second time. You'll see that it starts to look a little better. See now there's still some peaks here. The peaks aren't as precluded way up. Um, so you can compare the peaks here to the game, to, the, to my regular audio level. So now what I do is select again, make sure the whole thing is selected again, and we just run the compressor again. And at this point, the audio is going to be um, evened out. So while the gunshots and the game audio is just as loud as my voice, at this point here, you can actually hear my voice. Now, I could run a smaller compression here, so this isn't, um, so the peaks aren't too bad. But you can see here, compared to my audio in the game, that's where the, for me talking, that's the really saw lines. You can see there's still a few little peaks here, but it wasn't nearly as bad. So this is how I did it here. So just play with different compressions in there if you want to really even out your audio. Um, and it'll sound a lot cleaner. Not ideal, but it's certainly going to sound a lot better than it did. Just for curiosity's sakes, let's see if we run it a third time, if that's going to even it out. And just run it here. Okay, now that really does even out. So when you're done editing what you want to uh, do with the file, you just go to File, Export, Export as MP3, and in the video editor that you use, in this case VSDC, which we'll open a little later, um, you're going to you're going to mute the audio in your video so it's completely silent. Whatever uh, whatever you use, and import this audio, this file right here, the MP3 that you save, and put that into your uh, and put that into your editor instead, and you're using that for the sound volume. Now, how do we prevent us having to do this? Because ideally, our voice microphone volume would be higher than the game that we're playing, so that our viewers can hear us talking about the game or reacting to the game. So let's talk about how to prevent this. So now, we are going to go into OBS here. Okay. Open it up right here. Yeah, so you're going to see the mirror effect. You guys know how this goes if you've seen OBS videos. First, we're going to go into Settings. Uh, we're going to go into Output Streaming. We just have one, you know, just the auto track. For recording, you're going to, I select audio tracks one, two, and three. Make sure one, two, and three is selected. Okay. Then you hit Apply, and you hit OK. 
Now, what we're going to do, you can click either one of these buttons here. You're going to hit the little bar here for either scene. Because if you have scenes with media sources in there, that media source is also going to be its own. So you'll want to go through each each of your scenes and OBS that you use with an external media source. But in this case, for this setup here, I don't. And most times, you're just going to have your game. You're just going to have your mic. The game's going to come in through desktop audio. So let's look at advanced audio uh, options here. This is my capture card here. This is from my camera. I want no sound out of there, um, even if it, whether it can or not. I don't want to take any chances of audio coming through, so I make sure I unselect all the tracks here. And then track one is going to be my raw media. It's like when you record it and you double click the video to play it, see how it sounds. So that's how your raw sound sounds like. So everything's on track one here. Uh, on track two, it's only my desktop audio, so this is only going to be my game audio. Uh, so I have only that selected. And then my microphone audio is going to be on track three. Okay. So now, if we get to a situation like when I did my Fortnite video, I had known ahead of time to turn down the in-game audio a bit, but it was still a little too high. But I had already set this up so that the tracks were separated. So now we're going to go open the VSDC editor. We're going to see how the, that looks in here. Here we are in VSDC. Now what you do in that case, if you have multiple tracks, and here I have an option to split audio and video in VSDC, what will that do is it will give you similar to what you would do with uh, the Audacity MP3 fi um, file. It's just doing this automatically for you. It's going to mute this video and it's going to separate the audio track for you. Okay. By default, it's using audio track one. And this can only, dis and this can only show or uh, let you listen to one audio track at a time. So once you have your audio track here, you control copy, you control pasting, and it will automatically paste a second one copy of that audio file above it. So in this one here, you change it from track one, you're selecting track two. That's my desktop audio, that's my game audio. And then what I do here is I reduce the decibels, the decibel level. In this case, I felt good with 10 on that um, audio. And on the next one, you set that to track three. That's your microphone audio. So now track one is gone. That's Remember, that's the raw audio where you could hear the game, your microphone, everything. Uh, that is gone now. I only have track two, which is my game audio, my desktop audio, and track three, which is my microphone audio. So you can also turn up, turn this up. I find that it sounds better if you take what's too loud and turn it down, as opposed to taking your microphone and turning it up. Uh, that way you avoid any kind of speaker static, right? Like that's coming out of uh, headphones. It'll sound bad if it's too high, because then you'll get the decibel peaks. Um, so that's what I do there. Um, and it really cleans it up. So that's it for this video. Hopefully this helps you guys for your uh, for your recordings, getting cleaner audio out. Um, hopefully you don't have an issue like that where you have to use Audacity to really pump down like what we had to do here. Ideally, you are separating those tracks. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time.